Hey guys, my name's Emily and welcome to my first ever video on this channel. I hope you really enjoy it. it. I'm really, really, really excited about it. It took me a lot of time, but yeah, I just hope you enjoy it. So, yeah. So the first thing you'll need is a sink, any sponge. I'm just using a kitchen sponge for this. You'll need some saddle soap. You'll need some leather conditioner. My brand is from Oakwood and you'll also need two cloths to go along. This one I just used to apply it and this one I just used to take off the excess. So you'll need both of them. Um, you'll also need a bridle. Now mine doesn't have anything fancy on it like a noseband or a flash or a martingale but any bridle will do. You'll also need at least two old cloths the first thing you want to do is you want to take apart your bridle. Um, remember which hole yours on. See, I have both of mine at the sixth hole. So take apart your bridle. Alright, once you have completely disassembled your bridle, pick up the reins and put them to one side because we'll be doing that afterwards. And then what you want to do is you want to take all your bridle parts and put them in the sink. Remember to completely submerge them in the water so they get all wet all over. And then you want to gently just dip your sponge lightly in the water. Now you don't want a wet sponge. You just want your sponge just wet enough, like a damp, so keep it damp. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to get your saddle soap and you want to create a nice lather on the sponge with it and then what you want to do after that is you want to pick up one of your bridle pieces um, and gently just wipe the saddle soap on it make sure you get in every little crevice and crack and also when you clean your bridle this is a really good time to check the stitching so I'm just going to do this to all my bridle parts and then once you're done rinse them thoroughly with the water and put them on your cloth to dry. Alright, once you've washed all your um, bridle parts you want to put them on the cloth and I recommend letting them air dry. It's a lot easier. Yeah, you have to wait longer but it's much better. Um, I recommend waiting about 20 minutes but if you're really desperate keep it to um, at least 10 minutes. Alright, so what you want to do when your pieces are basically dry is you just want to grab your drying cloth and you want to pat gently, gently just pat the leather dry, just like I'm doing now. Make sure you get off all the obvious pieces of water, if there is any left. Um, you can slide it gently through, don't push hard as that will extract like some oils inside the um, the bridal pieces. Try and minimize your the pressure that you put on. Um, you want to do this to all of your pieces in turn and once they're all dry just put them to the side so then you know which ones are done and which ones still need to be done. Okay so all my pieces are dry and I've just put them back on here so the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your leather conditioner um, and your and your first cloth, the one that you're going to use to apply it. Right, so the next step is uh, applying your leather conditioner. So what you want to do is you just want to get a small amount on your cloth. So you can see some on there. You want to pick up your bridle part and you just want to wipe it on there. Now, I can't really demonstrate with here, so I'll put it down and show you guys. Right, so hopefully you can see this better instead. So I've just got some of my thing and I'm just going to pick it up and just wipe it on there first and then pull through. So wipe and pull through. Um, when you're generally applying leather you want to do it in small circles but it's a bit awkward to do it on a bridle part so I would recommend just going back and forth and then pulling through to spread the excess. So do that to all your bridal parts 
and yeah. Alright, so once you have polished with the leather conditioner all of your bridle parts, um, you want to pick up a piece um, and this, you apply minimal pressure to this and just slide it through. This just gets rid of all the excess conditioner that you put on so it's nice and easy to hold. So I'm just gently going to slide it through maybe about twice just like that. I'm just dragging it through don't like put any pressure and then put it to the side once you're done and then do the rest do the same to the rest of the pieces. Alright so all my pieces have been conditioned, washed, dried <laughs> etc and now I'm just going to put my top half of the bridle together because I find this is the easiest way for me. Alright, so the next thing you want to do after you have completed putting together your bridle, I'll just put this over here, is you want to do exactly the same as you have done um, to your reins. So put them in here, um, clean them with the saddle soap, put them in here, let them dry for 10 to 20 minutes, um, then condition them with your first cloth, wipe the excess off with the second cloth, and yeah. It's actually putting these parts back together. Um, what you want to do is you want to grab part which connects to the other part of the bridle, and you just want to here it is, make sure it's the right way up, and connect the two. Um, this ensures that there's like no tangles between the reins as, and it makes it much easier to put all the bridle and bit together so that's how you put that part together okay now this part this part is a mistake which basically every every beginner even advanced people make so what I like to do is I like to actually hook the bridle around my neck and the bit, most people make mistakes with it. Um, mine actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually specially shaped so you know which side to put it on. Um, one key thing when you're putting stuff together, all makes, make sure that the buckles face outwards. So I'm just hooking on part of the bridle here. Uh, make sure all your inside flaps are nice and malleable and hook that side together that's one side on and do the same to the other side Alright, 
So once you have connected the bridle to the bit, you want to grab one side of your reins, um, go from here, and usually the buckle stays on the left, so if you put that round on the left, which means this side is going to be over here, and you want to make sure that always the buckle is on the outside. Make sure you put it below the other side, and then reconnect. Reconnect this side. And then check behind you to see if we do have the right side. I think that's all good. Then this is the easier part. You grab this, you slide your hand along till you come to this side and simply hook it on again. So, now you've got this rope lash that goes along there, um, and you've got your bridle in the right place. Now what you have to do is you have to check if this is all without any, that part's fine, and then that's all right there. So that's how you put the bridle together. Um, it's just a quick and easy way. I find it looks really, really good. Um, yeah, so um, like this video, um, comment below, subscribe to our channel, and yeah, just have fun.